Well, it is now time to officially welcome the newest member of the Minnesota Vikings Edge Department. I'm talking about our guy, outside linebacker, Mr. Jonathan Grenard. Man, this is I'm, I said it right. Yeah, right? you said last it perfect. Name? Perfect. Okay, said it perfect. I heard Grenard. you in your press conference earlier. You, you said as long as you say my last name right, I'll just say Grenard right. That's all I care about. <laughs> for for a guy who just had a five month old child, you you look fairly good, my yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Thanks to uh, my fiance, man. Uh, <laughs> shout outs to her. Shout outs to all the mothers out there for sure. Because yes. I just know like that's a that's a hard job in itself. I mean, I play ball, and you would think that you know banging heads against this and that, man. Having a child and dealing with that, you know, by yourself, you know, at times when we're at work, man, that she took all the pressure off of me. So, um, you know, obviously I'm getting my, my fair share now in the off season, but uh, but no, <laughs> but during that season, man, she was amazing um, to help me out to where I can be playing and be at my best self for for the team, and I think that that's why you know she's she's my woman for sure. Well, and then you enter free agency right after, yeah, and you are now in the midst of listening to different teams' offers. Mm-hmm. How was that overall process for you and yeah. what stood out about the Vikings? Um, it was exciting just in general to be like wanted and, you know, talked about as a possible opportunity to go to these teams. So um, I just took that all in at that point just because, you know, not a lot of people are able to. As we know, the the average year in the league is what, 1.5 and mm-hmm. it's going down, you know. Mm-hmm. So um, to be to this point, I, I'm extremely blessed. But. Um, in that process, it was really good. I mean, you had teams here, teams here, different tiers and how they value you. Um, and but the main thing of Minnesota just stood out. Just you know, one is the facilities. Number one, um, you know, when you talk about all the teams, you kind of lay out everything. You know, where they are as a football standpoint, where they are as a team standpoint, where they are. You know, facility wise, like how is everything, and that plays a lot into it. You know, um, front office, who like how is their coaching security, like all of these yeah. things go into it. So um, when Minnesota came about, um, I'm be honest, I didn't think that it would be Minnesota at first. Mm. I just knew like, okay, there's a possibility. Um, but as time progressed and we kind of seen how, you know, um, how much they wanted me, how how mm-hmm. much like they valued me and my um, what I could bring to the team. Um, when it came down to it, I had to just break down to it and say, hey, look, who wants me the most and where am I going to make the most plays and where am I going to be the most effective? Um, and all of those boxes were checked when, when Minnesota came about. So, um, you know, KLC is amazing. You know, uh, Quaze is good, too, as well. Flow as well. Like, all of these guys, we literally just, you know, we just had that dinner last night and just seeing how we all mesh together well and how they how they mesh together um, was really good to see. And honestly, having that transparency as a player is amazing. What, what was that dinner like last mm-hmm. night? Oh, man. It was a lot of steak. I would say that. It was, it was a good steak, <laughs> oh, man. Like filet mignon. Yeah, man. It okay. was a, it had you had the, the pizza cut. there? So the pizza was amazing. Oh, like, so good. I don't know about mm. the, the, the dough. Is It was something about that dough was, was, was really good. Um, um, that hanger steak I had, very very good. Okay. Um, no, actually it was a butcher's cut. Because you guys, back. you were at the ho- you were at the Omni Vikings, right, like right, just right, for right. anyone that wants to eat the same yeah, food. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Was it like Ember and Ice or something? Quick like that? plug. Yeah. Ember yeah. and Ice, yeah. <laughs> Shameless plug. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, I could eat at that restaurant <laughs> Man, every amazing. night. Listen, I said if it, if that's right across the street from practice, I mean y'all might mm. have to worry about my weight problem or something like that. So, <laughs> but it's all good, man. It was real good. Very the hospitality was great there too. So that's another part too that just made more sense of why the city, is, uh, the city and and um, you know this organization is so good. You did share in your presser about that dinner how it was something new for you, not not ha- like ha- seeing these men yeah. that you have gotten to know throughout this courting process, right. I guess you could say, right. and now you're spending time with them outside of football. Right. What was it like to get to know them as people? Right. It was great. I mean, like, I feel like I'm talking to another teammate, and then we break down the X's and O's, you know, we sit down. Um, their coaching hat comes in and it also comes off. So they kind of know when to when to do these things. You know, being a younger guy like, you know, KLC, um, he's been there, understands how it is as a player and how do you need to relate to the players and how you need to get through to them. And I think that, um, you know, I've only been in one place and, you know, I've had a lot of coaching changes, a lot of, you know, GM, all this stuff, all the changes in there. Um, so I didn't know what normalcy kind of looked like when it's efficient like these guys. So I think that the communication was efficient um, throughout the whole time. That Everything was explained. Everything's la- laid out in front of you on the platter. Um, there's no secrets. You know, um, they know everything about me. Um, and they're going to continue to grow and uh, learn more about them as well. But one thing for sure, I just know that they all had the common goal of trying to get me here. And I think that's where um, I love that the most. So and I, I know I'll run through a brick wall for any one of them um, dealing like that. So um, they know they got a dog. I mean, that's why they, I feel like they brought me in. And I think that that dog mentality showed yeah. up in the stat sheet last yeah. last year in For Houston sure. and uh, just looking at you know your 
personal success and the team success you guys had in Houston last year, how did that prepare you for this process right. of becoming a Minnesota Viking? Right. Um, I think when you got guys all around there, um, you know, that are very, very talented in one place, um, you have to have the right guys to to win those games in deeper in um obviously in January and February. Yeah. So um, once we know we had a younger team at certain spots, you know, with obviously alluding to CJ, once we kind of knew mm-hmm. what type of guy he was as a leader, as a person, um, I knew that, okay, we're going to be taking care of on that side. Mm-hmm. Now, on the defensive side, we had to make sure that our mentality is right so that way we can get the ball right. to somebody like that. So um, when you get, you know, these opportunities and you get to showcase talents, you got guys over there that can make plays similar just like it is here. You got guys all around the ball that can make plays. My job on defense is to get the ball to them as many as many times as possible. Mm. Um, so, uh, however that may look, strip sacks, where there's fumbles, um, you know, turnover and downs, you know, just doing anything we can possibly can to make sure we get those guys on the offensive side of the ball as many, as much as possible. Um, and I think that mentality has stuck with me through all of, you know, not even just NFL but college as well. Mm. Um, you know, looking back when we had Lamar in college, yeah. so uh, that was that was amazing to understand that. That's I can only same. imagine the practices. Come on, like right. I mean. It, it, I think the most exciting practice had to be uh, freshman year because he okay. was he was uh, after a couple practices freshman year nobody could touch him anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I mean nobody <laughs> would touch him anyway. Oh, but yeah, I yeah. mean he 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 used to break eighty yarders like it was nothing. I mean so um, but yeah just back to that point it just shows that you know when you got guys like that, that are able to make plays around the ball um, just get them the ball and they're gonna make something happen and that's just my, my mo. Um, so I'll be definitely trying to do that at all times for sure. A career high twelve and a half sacks mm. last year. ESPN ranked you as six in the NFL and pass. Mm. Pass rush win rate. Yep. Um, the style that you play, can you describe that and how it can elevate mm-hmm. Brian Flores's scheme in particular? Right. Well, as we know, Flo likes to send it. I mean, Flo is aggressive, as we know. Um, and I think I fit well with that just because that's my MO. Like, I, I like to get off. I like to make people uncomfortable. I like to be disruptive. Um, and I like to get on people fast. Like, I just love to just, you know, have that mentality of I'm not going to let up till the game is over, you know. Um, so they can look at the stature and all this and think that this ain't going to be done, nothing like that. <laughs> but I guarantee at the end of the game, yeah, you're going to be saying a whole different story. So um, I think that's the main thing, too, is just we bring in that intensity, even bring guys like Cash and, and Gink over here. I mean, these guys are guys who love to run and love to just play fast. And um, and I think that's what this identity of the defense is going to be, is just to play fast. I mean, make make teams uncomfortable for sure. I mean, the the sacks, that's that's the stat that everybody looks at, right? right. 12 and a half, oh, man, blah, 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 yeah. blah, blah. But yeah. one thing that stood out to me was – your run stop percentage, yep. being aggressive, setting an edge yep. as an outside linebacker yep. or an edge rusher. For sure. How important is setting the edge yeah. and I guess stopping the run for sure. in, in in your position? Yeah. Uh stop and the thing is stopping the run is a want to thing. Like you have to want to stop the run. It's not like you can just be a strong guy and say, okay, well, I mean just go ahead and stop the run. No, you're gonna get blown off. So like I think that my mentality and as I keep alluding to like my stature, they'll think that Oh, we're just going to run the ball in him all day. All right, well, find out. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think that that's that's what I carry that chip on my shoulder all the time when it comes to that run game because you have to earn the right to rush a passer. You know, um, anytime you stop in a run, it just messes everything up, messes up the timing of the offense, and now it makes it more predictable to get in these pass rushers. Pass rushers don't become pass rushers unless you stop that run. So um, I think that once we stop that and uh, understand the basis of, you know, football and how to attack opponents is stopping that run and make sure that we get them behind the sticks, um, it lets us be that name, that pass rusher that you wanted that people love to see and get the sacks and all that so um yeah it's just it's a lot that goes into it but definitely stopping the run getting tfls and all that definitely makes you I feel your that. energy yeah. like when uh, you talk about stopping the run come on you got to <laughs> i mean listen it's I'll, i have i had more times where i have more tfls and sacks any day like that's 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 just kind of been my mo where okay i know i can stop that run yeah mm-hmm. that, that's that's just not that, that's not even up for discussion mm-hmm. um but as we know rushing that passer is a different story but i still take that same mentality you know to rushing the passer and it doesn't have to look pretty it ain't gonna be pretty but it's gonna get done for sure your teammate from Houston, Blake Cashman, is Cash. now also a Minnesota Viking, the saying Cash. that you were the second person he called yeah. before his <laughs> yeah. family. It's funny. Girlfriend comes first, yeah, yeah. but before his family, <laughs> yeah. he called you and said, hey, man, yeah. man it's, let's it, go do it. It's crazy. Uh, like I said, um, I seen a tweet that had us both tagged in it, and um, I don't know how I seen it, because obviously I had just, you know, the news right. just broke by mine, so I'm just looking, and I see Cashman tagged in. I'm like, what's Cash tagged in for? <laughs> and I look up, and I just instantly type in Blake Cashman, and it, and it popped up, and I said, ain't no way. That's like, crazy. So like, you guys hadn't talked about it at all? Not at wow. all. Wow. Minnesota men have never had. Yeah. I mean, I've always known he's been from here, sure, for sure. 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 Um, but never once did we say Minnesota. Like, we never just, I mean, we didn't really discuss teams as much in general, because we're still figuring it out. Yeah. But, um, 
once that happened, I mean, he called me. I was literally hitting everybody up because I had I got a new phone, so I didn't know his old number in there. I was like, yo, I started hitting my old teammates. Yo, what's Cash's number? What's Cash's number? <laughs> I even DM'd him like three times. Like, yo, call me ASAP. <laughs> um, and as soon as he seen that, had he, he FaceTimed me. We were just sitting there just yo. like, yo. Like, I mean, yeah, you guys seem really close. Like, like we were like, yo. Because um, we we just came back from a wedding um, from a former teammate in Hawaii. Okay. And uh, as I was leaving, as he, we both were leaving for our flights, um, he was the last person I seen. And oh, wow. we were literally um, getting um, – you know, getting some food or a smoothie from like this little restaurant on the resort. And we're just like, yeah, man, like best of luck to you in yeah. a sense. Like, you know, we don't know. We didn't know what was going yeah. on, obviously, um, in Houston or whatever before. But we just know, hey, look, yeah, it's, it's it could happen. So now to see this, man, it was full circle to know that he was the last person I talked to um, before all this broke, man. It's it's, it's great to be. Um, and he played behind me at that point. So, That's crazy. So yeah. it's, it's fun, man, to have a guy like that who knows how I play already um, be able to come in and command um, the defense and definitely still make plays. It's going to be great. Well, I it's mean, like before, you're sorry, it's like you're coming in here and you have already like at least a little bit of a comfortability. Yep. Yeah. yeah. And I think that's the main thing is you're not yourself. You can't make plays. You're not yourself. So that's true. Uh, I think that with Cash, he's always been that fast guy who's always just made sure that, you know, he's on top of everything, knowing a lot about football so he can easily um, help us out. Um, when it comes to making plays or trying to learn about certain defenses or certain schemes, so um, having him here, man, he's it was a it was definitely a breath of fresh air for sure to That's know that awesome. I won't be alone. I mean, I'm assuming when when Blake starts to you know get his feet settled here mm -hmm. in Minnesota, that's probably gonna be your right hand man. Come hey, on. tell me your favorite restaurant. Come on now, tell me what Lake. You know it. You I mean, know it. And I, I literally talked to him already. I like, listen. You are going to be my chauffeur. Like, <laughs> like, I don't know, like you need to take me everywhere. If you even your best food places, your best chill spots, like yeah, um, on everything. I think that's the best thing about you know coming up here. I think. It's all written. It was already written at this point. I'm just living and walking in it because um, to be placed here um, with someone like Cash, you know, with the coaches and how they um, and the staff wanted me, um, it's all God. It's honestly just all just brought here by God. And I think that's the main thing where I can just rest in that and, and, and it um, takes off in the fact that I was supposed to be here. Love it. Yeah. My last question for you, you know, this is day one as a Viking for mm -hmm. you or however – Day one, whenever officially, yeah, officially, officially day, day one, day as, one. as a Minnesota Viking. Right. Fast forward years down the road. For sure. How does Jonathan Greener want to be remembered? Yeah. See. During his time here. Yep. So you see how he, he did uh -huh. it that quick? Yep. Grenard. You Grenard. Grenard. Right, right. Grenard. But you see how, happen, how quick it happens. Yep. But no. <laughs> but no like, you're good. It's all good. Grenard. Right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. But like, I think that, you know, um, me having my energy and the way I am as a person, um, they asked me earlier, you know, how do you, you know, compare to people before? I said, my job was not to come here and try to be everybody else or fill shoes. My job is to be JG, um, be that same person on the field that got me to this point. Um, I'm still going to be talking trash, still going <laughs> to be that person, that lovable person or that brother you can talk to, the shoulder to cry on. Like, I've been through all of that. I've been through a lot of stuff, and I think that that's the main thing where I can help others, and I think that this team has a lot of needs at certain spots. And, you know, we can all talk about the physical aspect, yeah. but the mental aspect, I feel like I can really bring um, a different element to this team um, because – I've been there. I've been at the lowest of the lowest. Um, trust me, I have. Um, so um, getting to this point, that's why I say it's a blessing because I went from, you know, not even slated even start mm. to now we're in this point now, you know. So um, I think that I just take, I just, I just run with it. It still leaves me speechless when I think back on it just because um, the impact that I talked to all of my former teammates mm. um, and you can't find a person that does not, you know what I'm saying? I have a bad relationship with. Mm -hmm. um, and and I think that's what I'm going to continue to do. Um, it's a lot of familiar faces around the building that I, that was here with me in Houston. You know, our equipment manager, uh, Mike, was there with Mike. me. Mike? Uh, yeah, so um, shout out to Mike. <laughs> um, you got a couple people on the stat, on the medical staff. We know Lexus and, you know, Rashad and Connor. You know, these mm -hmm. guys, and they were with me in Houston. Uh, Rashad was actually oh, me in Florida. So, um, oh, wow. man, it's, it's, it's actually, uh, like I say, I keep alluding to it. Uh, and I'm not afraid. It's all God, man. So I just gonna live it and walk in this path, man. And uh, definitely can't wait to get this thing going, man. Y'all took a spin at the Vikings Museum, right? Man, y'all yeah. ain't tell me about that, man. That it's thing crazy, is right? crazy. It's crazy. Like, and then John Randall was over there, so yeah. I remember him mm -hmm. at the combine. So uh, you know him able to um, to see him again. It comes full circle, but man, this, this the story of the guys that that have come here. Um, it makes you want to be at your best. It makes you want to have that winning energy because you see so many graces. Like why not? 
you know, give them something to look forward to when they're sitting at home watching these games and cheering us on, you know, or whenever they're in the facility. I just look back on that because it's always bigger than us, you know. And we only we only can control the things on the field, but obviously the things that you can play for, um, you can definitely take that to another level. So um, understanding who you're doing it for um, is a great organization. It's a great city. It's a great time to be um, in Minnesota. I think that everything is going to be really, really good. Uh, th- you, how, oh, sorry. Did yeah, you, have sure. you played in U.S. Bank Stadium? I have never played here before. But That's your first game, My first game in the NFL was against the Vikings. First game there we in go. the NFL was against the Vikings. That's great. We'll and we played them at home. Yeah. And, I, and that was during the COVID year, man. That was that was a uh, strange year. Oh, super strange. No fans or anything. So, yeah, what you've seen is what you get, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but yeah, to actually be here, man, I, I cannot wait. When I tell you, I cannot wait to get in that stadium um, in front of those fans and, and get a that. chance, man. I, I just, man, trust me. I just love. Yeah. I think I just love football, yeah. and I think that's the main thing. Where mm-hmm. anytime we get around that football environment, and people love football and want to see you do good, um, man, why wouldn't you want to be at your best? Yeah. So, You're in the right place. Yeah, hundred percent. And we're happy <laughs> to have you. And that's Jonathan Grenard. Yeah, 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 the newest member. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Of the Minnesota Vikings yes, Edge sir. Department. Mm-hmm. First and foremost. So, well, lastly, congratulations. Yes, sir. Yeah, happy for you. Thank, y'all. Thank y'all. Second contract, life changing. Hey, man. Amen. Mm-hmm. You amen. see that baby girl that was sitting yeah. over there, yeah. man. She, yeah. She's. She's. Yeah. She's good, and I think that was, her, huh? that was the main thing. Mm-hmm. Her and my fiance, man, look, make sure they're taken care of. I'll yeah. figure the rest of it out, and so I'll be. I love and, it. And, and at that point, I could just play ball now, and that's the best city. I mean, the city there ain't nothing to do but just play football, yeah. and I, that's what I love. So That's awesome. Can't wait for it. Appreciate We're it. We're so happy to have you Thank here. Thank you so much. Thank y'all for having me, man. Can't wait to do it.